Good morning, Southern family. My name is Gabby Rizuk. I am a second year biology pre-med student here at Southern, and I am social vice president of the Middle Eastern Club. I'm originally from Loma Linda, California, and today I'm gonna to be taking you guys along with me for a day in my life. I have a pretty busy day, and I'll let you guys know about that in the next slide. Usually on a Friday morning, I wake up around 6.45 and I get ready for the day. I didn't film that because my roommate is still asleep. And I'm still in the dorm, so after that, I usually come out to the common room and I prepare for my first class because we usually have a quiz in the beginning of that class. Today we don't, so that's nice. Um, and then I go to my 8 a.m., which is cell molecular biology. Then I have two hours in between. And I then I go to organic chemistry too. And then that's the, all my classes that are on Friday. And then after that, we have a Middle Eastern Club meeting with all the officers. So you guys will get to meet all of them later on today. And then after that, I usually try to study a little bit. It's not my best study day, but I try. I try a little bit. And then hang out with friends or do something before Vespers. So that's kind of what I have planned for today. Today, I'll be popping in on here, showing you guys around. And I'll also be answering questions that you have about Middle Eastern Club or being a biology major or anything about that, I'm happy to answer them. And so put your questions right here and- Hey guys, I'm here with Lily and Grant and we are on our way to our last cell molecular Let's class go. of the year. Um, so how are you guys feeling this morning? <laughs> so excited, excited. This is our Can't last Friday of the school over. year. Yeah. Things are wrapping up. It's, it's getting there guys, it's getting there. So close. We can do this. <laughs> guys, why are we biology majors? Well, I want to go to dental school, so I wanted to get a wide variety of science classes before I went. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and I'm doing PA, so hopefully I can uh, get all my prereqs in with this bio degree and learn a lot about life. Hi guys, I'm back in my dorm, just got done with my 8 a.m. and usually between these two hours I study a little bit and I grabbed breakfast at the VM, grab my breakfast, and I take this time to study for my next class because in my next class we actually have a practice final exam and so yeah that's what I'll be doing. Hey guys, my name is Christina Cabaz and I work here in the enrollment office and I know Gabby, she's super cool and awesome. Uh, one of the reasons is because she's Middle Eastern like I am, um, born and raised in Maryland, but both my parents are from the Middle East. My favorite Middle Eastern food is called kibbe, and Christina actually makes it, but it's in the shape of a football, and you can use veggie meat, and onions, and minced garlic, and pine, pine, nuts. Nut, pine yeah. nuts. Um, I'll show a picture in the next. So my favorite a Middle Eastern dish is also kibbe, but my second most favorite is um, stuffed grape leaves. So like an aromatic blend of spices with rice and onions and tomatoes. You, and you stuff it in a grape leaf and you roll it up and you cook it in a light broth and it's so good. It is. Hi everyone, my name is Marlon and I'm the president of the Middle Eastern Club. Um, I'm a junior here at Southern. I'm a political science pre-med major and I'm from Maryland, but my family is originally from Egypt and Jordan. And so I started this club for more diversity here at Southern and for people from the Middle East to be able to come and join in and people who are not from the Middle East to also participate in the culture. So we'll tell you more about the Middle Eastern Club in the next slide. You should totally join next year in the fall, the first week of school. We usually have booths out um, on the promenade or in the beach center and you should definitely sign up and join because we have a lot of stuff planned for next year. So in our first year of events, we had a couple big events. Our first main event, first semester, was a joint Vespers with Pre-Med Club. We had my dad, Dr. Zook, come out from Loma Linda and he spoke about his journey from Lebanon coming to America and how that, that ties into his professional career. And then we also just recently had a end of the year party where we made falafel, we had hummus, we had, what else did we have? We had uh, this thing, this fava bean mixture called oh, yeah. Um We also had like bread and this other thing called lebne, which is like a cheese thing. We both love it, it's yeah. so good. 
Um, so if you want to experience more food and taste all the different um, delicacies from the Middle East, then you should join this club. <laughs> yeah. And we also were part of the food service. We partnered with AMFA, which stands for Adventist Muslim Friendship Association. And they're on campus. Like um, They have a lot of ties with Southern. And so we were able to, first semester, we were able to participate in the thing called a peace camp where we met a lot of the refugee families in the community and we had a potluck with them. Um, and we talked to them, ate with them, um, and were watching their kids while the adults were able to hang out and enjoy themselves um, and make a lot, we made a lot of connections. So the restaurant was called Kebobster um, and the owners, uh, they are the Muslim coordinators of AMFA. And so it was great getting to talk with them, getting to know them. They were so nice. A lot of fun. Um, it was a lot of fun. We had a good group of people come out. Um, and so for the next year, we're trying to do more of those types of events and maybe even more new things. Um, and so we would love for you, for everybody to come and to be able to be a part of it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, is that Nor? Hi. Nora, Southern wants to know. Who am I? Well, my name is Norma Adnet. I am currently a sophomore here at Southern. I study business management. Um, I'm the treasurer in the Mid for the Middle Eastern Club, but I'm going to be VP next year. Um, fun fact about me, let's see. Um, I've been in an actus, so if you guys are business majors and want to join an actus, I highly recommend it. P.S. guys, I'm also Middle Eastern. I'm half Egyptian, half Jordanian. I forgot to mention that in the clip before, but yeah. Nor, <laughs> how do I save space in the dorm? Well, that's a very good question. Um, one thing is, don't bring a lot of clothes or clutter more than you think. You you think you're gonna have a lot, but you're actually not going to. Plus, the dorm has more space than you need, or than you think so I get like buckets or um, one of those like hanging things you can hang up and like put your clothes um, in my personal dorm we have that middle cabinet so we put that actually as food so that it allows us to not have as much clothes <laughs> with my roommate and I so there's that also under the bed um, you can get uh, storage for your shoes so that you don't put it in your closet um, you're gonna buy more clothes here, I will tell you that. I did that. <laughs> but just make sure you're folding everything, organizing. It does get messy, um, but just as long as you keep it put together, it's pretty easy. So being a bio major can be pretty hectic at moments and weeks, especially when you have two weeks, and two tests in one week. But one thing I like to do is on Sundays, I like to write out everything that I have to do for an entire week so I can look at it on paper and know day by day what I have to get done. In days where I have a lot to get done, I also write the priority of them on the side. Like I write three, two, one, or how many stuff I have to get done. Um, three being the lowest priority, one being the highest priority. So I make sure that I get the ones and twos done before the threes and fours. And if I, if there's a day where I possibly can't get everything done, then I just push it to the next day. Um, and I make sure that on Friday I have everything done that I have to get done. I trust Southern is I had heard a lot about its community and how close-knit the community and the campus life was and I really like that aspect. I also heard that their biology department was really good and that's what I wanted to study so that was a bonus and I also heard that Southern had intramurals and that was definitely something that I was interested in so a lot of those factors plus I heard that the spiritual life here was very good and I definitely wanted to get involved in that and so those were probably my top three reasons why I came to Southern was the community, the spiritual life, and the campus life. And I'm so glad I came. Hey guys, we're back. This is a typical Friday night with friends. We cookies. got Abby and Will. <laughs> Take some cookies. <laughs> we and we got Ethan eating his stopper cookies. I couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> And we got Will with the socks. Yes. I'm here with 
my cell lab partner, Grant. Hello. And we're here to answer some of you guys' questions pertaining to biology. Grant, what is your advice for freshman biology majors? My advice would have to be get a hobby because school and biology especially can burn you out very quickly. So you need to find something exciting and fun to do so that you can have a balanced life. For me, I enjoy rock climbing. And I'm going on a trip this weekend. Yeah, we with some are. Friends, get some good climbs in, enjoy the weather, take a break from school. The test of a true <laughs> physical education major is can you deadlift your best friend? <laughs> the answer That's is like yes. <laughs>